This is a magnet. When I put an iron paper clip near it, the paper clip accelerates towards it and sticks to it. Pretty simple, right? But what force pulls the paper clip? It can't be gravity. The objects are too small for gravity to have a large effect. It can't be an electric field either. Neither of these objects have a charge. So there must be a magnetic field. But then, what creates a magnetic field? The answer can be explained through special relativity. Special relativity is a theory that deals with the relative motion of individual objects that travel at constant velocities. In our everyday lives, time seems absolute from every frame of reference, and the laws of physics appear the same from every perspective. The person observing this car will see the car pass by in 5 seconds, while the car driver sees the person on the sidewalk pass him by at 5 seconds too. But according to special relativity, this isn't actually true. The person moving relative to the stationary observer experiences a slower passage of time. So if time is relative, and relative speed is constant, shouldn't distance also be relative? Well, it is. To a stationary observer, an object moving really fast appears to have a shorter length. Let's apply this theory to an electromagnet. This electromagnet has a loop of copper wire with a current of negative charges flowing between the positively charged nuclei of copper atoms. In any part of the wire, since there are the same number of positive charges as negative charges, the wire is electrically neutral. If I throw a positively charged ball this way at the same speed as the electrons, you might think that nothing happens to it since the total charge on the wire is zero. But let's look at the wire from the ball's point of view. Since the ball is traveling with the electrons, they appear stationary. The positive charges look like they're moving the other way. Special relativity says that since they're moving faster than the ball, they appear closer together. So now, there's more positive charge in each part of the wire. The positive electric field pushes the ball away. So if the ball moves away in its perspective, shouldn't it do the same in ours? Well, it does. And this is what we see as magnetism. What was an electric field from one point of view was a magnetic field from another. They're both just one field, the electromagnetic field. But what about permanent magnets? In every iron atom, there are four outer electrons that all spin in the same direction. Well, they don't actually spin, but that's how we describe their momentum. And no matter what perspective you observe the electrons, they always produce some variation of an electromagnetic field that affects other iron atoms. So next time you play with magnets, keep in mind that it's all relative. Thanks for watching.